Hi, you've reached Todd Olison from Viking Bay Enterprises. Today we're coming from my home marina in Shelter Bay, Washington, which is just outside of LeConnor, Washington, about 50, 60 miles north of Seattle. Anyway, uh, you've seen some of my, or you may have seen some of my progress reports on the transom tables we're making. And we're here today at my 2001 310 Sea Ray Nihalania to show you what uh, those look like when they're mounted. I make them out of sapile, mahogany, teak, or a blend of both. I've got one actually right now at home that, uh, back at the shop rather, that is uh, a blend of maple, sapile, mahogany, and really turned out nice. Uh, this one is made out of sapile, which is a nice uh, hardwood. It weathers really well, and I've treated it with penafin rosewood oil. And the purpose of this was if you have a grill like mine mounted somewhere on the back, whether it's under your swim step, which is typically on the side on a lot of the smaller ones, or mine is in the middle, I elected to transom mount my grill. But it doesn't give me a lot of space, even with the tray that's optional for this, to put anything spices, uh, tools, beer, chicken, plate of chicken or steaks or whatever you're doing. So that's why I've developed this. I've been selling them for a few years now. They've been pretty popular and I have three of them available. What I do is I mount them on your back rail. Some of your back rails are up forward of the transom locker like mine is, or some of them are actually mounted to the front of the transom locker, but that's, or on the face of the transom locker, but that's easily remedied by the simple location of where we put those clips and where are the length of the base feet. So if you like what you see, please like it, give me a holler, and uh, I'd love to give you a quote on one. Thank you.